The top of your hand is the Kelly criteria. For every dollar invested into two hypothetical stocks, the first stock is a star. It on average returns $2.70 for every dollar we invest. On the second stock, it only returns 30% for each dollar invested, crashing medial. However, if you combine them into a two-asset portfolio, Orthodox financial wisdom tells us that the expected value is invest 50% in each, 0.5 times 2.7 plus something greater, because $1.50, the return of 12% return on investment, or $50 absolute gain, looks good. However, under Monte Carlo simulation of real, to real life trading, if we combine the find the likely outcome, hence the product rule of combining probabilities, by outcome of number of scenarios, gives us 2.7 times 0.3 to the power of 50. We get a likely outcome of 0.81 to the power of 50. In other words, after 50 days, we are broke or 50 trials. Here we have the scenario before, 2.7 plus 2.3 times 0.5 gives us a 1.5 expected return. The likely outcome, within trials where we 2.7 times 0.3 to the power of 50, we get zero. The log optimal growth rate is merely the log of the two returns added together. Log 1 plus 2.7, log 1 plus 0.3 is a log optimal growth rate of 1.5787. Now to solve for the log optimal growth rate to find the Kelly criteria, um, I used analytically, I didn't derive it with calculus and algebra. I do it analytically you know, with um, simple goal seek, which wasn't quite accurate. That's the actual one. Uh, we'll set that there, yeah, to a value of 1.57. 1, 1. 1.57. And the cell we change is this one. And it automatically gives that solution, because I've done it before. That is the optimal solution. Uh, Anyway, the actual optimal return determined by precision arithmetic by our statistical language is 0.42. There is a rounding and precision arithmetic error with Excel. Close, but uh, 0.81 of a percent off, roughly to the third decimal place. It's, it's a significant rounding error. I'll show you the R code so we can look at the actual derivation. Here we're um, running through the trial a hundred times. And you see the chart there, we generate it again. You see the result 42, that's the peak there. 42, 0.42 is the amount we invest. And there's the expected growth rates. You can see if you, the more you invest, it eventually leads to ruin. Uh, the downside's okay for a fair while, till a certain point you wouldn't be making enough money to make it worthwhile. You'd be only making fractions of a cent. Um, but that shows that the Kelly criterion is the log optimal point. Now we'll move on to the second spreadsheet where I run a Monte Carlo simulator. This is a Monte Carlo simulator of the above scenarios. That is a binomial probability. I only run it twice. You know, for the stocks, up or down, that's all I want to do. I want to run 50 days, how many successes and how many no successes. I used only frontline and front line solvers and medical solver simulation for that. Um, and we run it, and that is what the results are after 50 days. Starting at, that started at... Uh, the, that one started at a profit of $1.50, expected value, with $3 invested, 
And this one um, started a expected value of 1.57 with three dollars invested. I know expected value, an outcome of log outcome of growth rate of 157%. Um, 1.57, yeah. Okay. Now we'll run it. I just press F9. You can see that the Kelly criterion on the right is always superior, even when there's losses. It's 0.82 there, 0.59 there. 3.27 there, 4.52 there. 3.30, 4.52 there. 4.6. When it's down, that's lost a dollar, lost almost just over a half, uh, under a half. Kelly Criterion's only lost about uh, uh, an eighth or something. Nearly lost everything there, 39 cents. Kelly Criterion still 50, 5.52. Because this is a full Kelly, you go broke slowly, but you can go broke in extreme situations. Half Kelly would be very unlikely that you would ever lose all your money. Um, as you can see, the Kelly criterion is a superior measure to the expected value of traditional finance. In every case, as in this example, there's the formula. I used a new lip formula. It didn't do a good job, but worked okay, okay. Okay, we'll move on. Thought. The next few slides are from Wikipedia. They're generally well researched, well resourced, and um, clearly explained. You're better off relying on Wikipedia than a lot of those infomercial blog sites on the internet, like Investopedia and things. They're not reliable and uh, they're highly inaccurate. Anyway, we'll flip through these next few, and uh, you can just go to Wikipedia to read them in detail. Thanks. Share trading is difficult despite what the so-called experts would have you believe. The Kelly Criterion is a great weapon in your arsenal of share trading tools. However, like the computer rule of Gigo, which says garbage in and garbage out, Kelly Criterion parameters can be difficult to arrive at empirically for all scenarios. And even if you can, they even if they can be derived empirically, deriving the Kelly allocations is as much an art as a science. Your mean or return estimates have to be rock solid, or your whole assumptions are false, and the outcome from the formula is garbage in, garbage out. It is a deep topic which should not be left to the countless incorrect formulas purporting to be the Kelly criteria all over infomercial blogs on the internet like Investopedia, which is not a good source.